serious. This is serious. This week's episode, Triple Beam Pizza in Highland Park. So first of all, let's talk about the experience when we first showed up. Yes. That was really, really weird, right? Yeah. So that's it? Yeah? Yeah. So you don't want me talking about that? No, yeah, go ahead. Okay. So before we get into the pizza, let's talk about the experience of ours first showing up there. Weird, right? Very weird. It was, it was strange. It was like everybody there from the workers to the people that were there eating the pizza, like they were in some kind of witness protection program where they could not be on camera or something. It was strange. I kind of get it. You know, they don't want to be on camera. That's fine. I can, I, it's, I'm okay. But it, it just, it was a very weird interaction with them. It was confrontational in a nice way, but it was just weird. What was even stranger is that they kept touting that this is a neighborhood place and it didn't even feel that way. No, that is the one thing that it didn't feel like. It felt very um, institutional to me. It didn't feel, well, a couple of things. First of all, there was no place to eat except outside on the sidewalk. On the um, street. On the street. Um, and we've kind of like, I, it was too cold that night to eat out on the street because it was, right. it was in the high 50s, I think. Um, so that was a problem. The seating area inside, they were actually using it for production space. So the actual seating area they had for the restaurant, they were using to fold boxes. Fold so boxes, they, didn't, yeah. they didn't really have, um, you know, a place to eat inside. A proper place. So there's anyway, so some of the items that we had while we were there, we, of course, we got the, the Caesar salad. Mm -hmm. Um, so in place of the margarita, pizza because their margarita pizza was vegetarian and we really didn't want that equivalent to the margarita pizza was the, the San Marzino pizza and fresh mozzarella mm -hmm. right we ordered four pizzas um, the roasted mushroom and shallots mm -hmm. the acorn squash roasted fennel and the sausage with goat cheese so yep. which was your favorite the squash pizza was probably my favorite, the sweet one. It was almost like dessert, actually. It wasn't like a regular pizza. It was, I described it to you as like when you were a kid, you got the bread, you put the spun honey on the bread. Right. That's what it tasted like to me. So, um, but, okay. This was not great pizza. <laughs> I'm sorry. It wasn't bad. It just, well, first of all, it came cold. We got it when it was cold. Yeah. Um, and I thought for the price, it was not, it wasn't good. It was expensive, but um, I will say- You know what was good? What's that? The wine. The wine was really good. Yeah, farmers we got a bottle wine. of wine. It was farmer's something. It was really, really good. <laughs> it was the well, best least, thing. It was the best part of the meal. Well, at least something positive came out of it. Um, and I will, in adding to the pizza, uh, the colder it got, the chewier it got the dough yeah. it was it was not not to par and it's been written up so much yeah as being one so of this is the pizzas. thing it's a nancy silverton uh establishment yeah she's famous i get it you know she there and it's 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 it seems to me it was less a labor of love than the other places we've been to so far right the other places were family run a labor of love they were really putting heart and soul into the pizza. I didn't get the heart and soul here. No. And one, and one of the interesting things also is that you seem to think that they weren't fermenting their pizza. They were just... I don't think they were fermenting their dough. I think, well, actually Matt, who is one of the owners, right. mentioned it's a 12-hour dough. Um, six to 12 hours. Six to 12 hours. So that means they probably were using a mother dough and then, and then actually uh, made the dough that morning and then, you know, made the pizzas in the evening. So it's not fermented like, uh, like Di La Nona was has a 72 hour to fermented dough. Which made the pizza perfect. And what yeah. was interesting about what Matt was saying is, is that um, they don't look at the time as far as uh, the, the dough rising. He was more interested in the temperature of the room that the dough was in. Yeah. 
which is kind of strange. What, what to me, the, the bottom line is, Nancy Silverton is famous around the world for bread. Right. So the thing they should have gotten right on this pizza is the crust. Right. And it's the thing that they failed on, I think. Um, the toppings were actually pretty decent, but the crust of the bread, the crust of the pizza is not good. So, um, anyway. Um, I would probably rate it a thumbs down. I was not impressed with any part of it. With the ambiance, with the, um, the customer service, the friendliness, um, or even the pizza itself. The wine, I give a thumbs up to. <laughs> Listen, I always say, we do pizza every week. If I put it into the category of would I go back there, even though we're doing pizza every week, I would not rush back to this place. I would not go back to it. Right. And it's, it's too bad. Um, because um, I, we never like to poo-poo on anyone. Right. Uh, it, we, we want everyone to be have a successful business. Um, but this is, for Nancy Silverton, this is a big thumbs down. Oh yeah, we had high hopes for that place. Yeah. So next week's episode, we're going to be going to Pizzana in West Hollywood. They have several locations, uh, one in Brentwood, uh, one in the San Fernando Valley on Ventura Boulevard, I've heard. And they reopened their, uh, their or they opened a, um, a new restaurant in West Hollywood on Robertson. So we'll be checking that out.